Hi, it's Art again from Futex Later, and today we will talk about the Akara M1S hub, how it held up after owning it for 5 months, how to set this up, see how you can unleash the device's potential in your smart home, and why this is by far my favorite smart home hub. If you're into tech and smart home, consider subscribing. On this channel, we focus on budget devices and see how they can perform after a week, maybe after 2 or 3 months, even after a year of usage, and see if it's worth it. Don't forget to click the bell to get notified when we put out long-term review videos just like this one. Thanks to Okara for sending this device over and for sponsoring today's video. They sent it over like more than 5 months ago and I have wanted to make a video about it since then but I kind of hold on to it and see how it actually works after a few months. I left some affiliate links in the description below if you're interested in picking one up. And if there is a specific topic you're interested in, there's chapters in the video that you can skip around. Let's find out what are the things I love with it and the things that the device is lacking. If this is your first time with the smart home hub and don't know how or what exactly it functions as, basically this is your bridge from your sensors and other devices, in our case, Akara devices to connect to the internet. These devices are not your typical smart home devices that can connect directly to your home Wi-Fi. This technology is called Zigbee. Zigbee is like Wi-Fi, a wireless protocol that allows your other Zigbee devices to talk to each other with almost no latency, greater in range, and will consume less power. And this hub is the brain of your other Zigbee devices. It's perfect because it will put less stress on your Wi-Fi network if you add more devices in the future. First, let's check what comes in the box. As you can see, I accidentally opened it from the bottom. So if you open it from the top, first thing you will see is this thank you card. Appreciate the little gesture from the companies, right? Then you will have your car hub, then a manual. And that's pretty much it. The Acara M1S hub is compatible to all three major smart home platforms like Google, Amazon, and Apple. But if you're trying to set this up to Apple's HomeKit, there's the HomeKit code available from the box, the device itself, and from the manual. Now, if you want to use this device through Amazon or Google's smart home platform for voice control, you need either the Mi Home app or the Acara Home app. Just to let you know, it's been a while since I added the hub to the Mi Home app. After making this video, I'm not really sure anymore if it still works. But for the purpose of this video, we will add it to the Acara app. So if you don't have the app yet, it's available on both Apple's App Store and Google Play Store. Once the app is downloaded, just simply create an account, sign in. Now, the app layout will kind of look different in your end if you haven't added any Acara devices in the past. Now to add the Akara M1S hub, tap the plus sign on the upper right corner, then select M1S hub, then plug the device into an outlet. Please bear in mind that the hub is a 3-pin plug, so if you're living in a country that only has a 2-pin plug like mine, you will need an adapter. And because of its size, it might take some space in your outlet depending on the configuration. Once it's plugged in, the LED ring light will start blinking. If not, press the side button for 10 seconds, then the hub will automatically go on pairing mode. And just simply follow the on-screen instruction and you should be fine. Once the device is added, you can see it from the Home tab. If not, go to the Accessories tab. And if you're adding it through Apple's HomeKit, same thing, plug the device in. If the LED ring light didn't flash, press and hold the button for 10 seconds. Then go to the Acara app from your iPhone or iPad. Add the device. 
Now, the difference in adding the hub through an iOS device compared to an Android phone, for example, is the HomeKit compatibility. After you do the installation from the Akara app, the app will start binding the device automatically to HomeKit. Now, as far as the functionalities in the Akara app, it's pretty basic. The functionality is almost the same as a smart light bulb where you can toggle the switch on or off. You can change the color and the brightness. Aside from being a status light indicator or a night light, you may want to use this as a Zigbee hub or an alarm system. If you want me to create another video on how I set my security system, please let me know in the comment section below. Going back, having a smart home is not always reliant on voice control or something to happen. This is where the little devices come handy. These are motion and contact sensors that makes everything smart. All you gotta do is to put in the work in creating those automations or routines and everything in your home will automatically work. Adding these devices is super easy. From the Akara app, tap the plus sign again, then go to sensors if you're adding a sensor. In our case, the motion sensor. Then select the hub from the list. Then press and hold the reset key and follow the instructions displayed on the screen. I will create a separate video on all the Akara sensors that we have and we will go deeper in setting them up and how I use them in our smart home. But for now, let's talk about the integration to smart home assistance. If you install the Akara app from an iPhone or an iPad, again, there is an option from your profile to sync all your Akara devices to HomeKit. Spoiler alert, all hubs that can be added to the Akara app is compatible to HomeKit. Yes, even the first generation of our hub. Now for Amazon and Google, both platforms work with the M1S hub and it will show as a smart bulb that you can add to your existing or new routines or for automation. Simply set up the hub from the Akara Home app, then link that app to your Alexa or Google Home using the logins that you just created. Now let's talk about pros and cons. If you're a HomeKit user, this is one of the cheapest Zigbee hub that you can use to add sensor to your HomeKit setup. Unlike the competition, the hub and the sensor are pretty affordable. It will not be an excuse anymore not to start a HomeKit supported home. Aside from being a Zigbee hub, it acts as an alarm system as well. With this built-in speaker that is so loud, any unexpected visitor will be caught off guard if they're trying to break in. Other Zigbee gateways only works as intended, but not the M1S hub. Aside from being an alarm system, it can be used as well as a nightlight. The brightness can be very dim, which will not interrupt you from your sleep, and can be very bright as well to avoid those stumbled nights when you need to go somewhere. Unlike the original Akora hub, the M1S hub can add up to 128 child devices, which is a lot. I bet you will not pass 30 child devices, but if you are, good for you then. Now let's talk about the cons. With a built-in speaker, it can be awesome if you can record audio messages and use those to your automations if you want. Since it works as an alarm system with HomeKit, I'm hoping that in the future, Alexa routines can play tone as well if let's say the door sensor is open for a certain amount of time or something. So what do I think? For $49, it's awesome. I really can't complain much. With all the functionalities you're getting out of it, it's a steal. You can get pretty good deals from Amazon every now and then that you can take advantage. Being a hub for Zigbee devices that is reliable and fast is just amazing. So after owning one for 5 months, I really never had any issues at all. It still works as advertised. And there you go. That's our long term review of the Akara M1S hub. If you want to check it out, again links are available in the description. Thanks again to Akara for supporting the channel. And this is Art again from Futex Later. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.